Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be tackling this energy pulse looking design. It's completely procedural animation, so this is going to be really fun. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we're going to start off with is I'm going to hit the top key to go all the way up there. And we're going to, first thing we're going to do is add our camera, hit control, alt, zero, snap it to view just like that. So, because the reason we're doing that is because we're going to keep the box within the bounds of our camera. So first thing I'm going to do is hit this little camera icon and switch over to Eevee because we're going to be using Eevee to preview this. And we're going to mesh, plane, and then I'm going to go over here to the scale tab and just scale it till we barely pass up our camera here. Just like that. And I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit shift, I'm going to hit control A and apply scale. All right, so this is pretty much the only bit of geometry we're gonna actually need for this tutorial. All right, so now we're gonna go over here to the shading tab and let's go ahead, hit the Z, click rendered. And if you're still in the default settings, this is gonna be kind of gray. We're gonna go to the world settings and just change that color to black. So now we see nothing. So let's go ahead, click new, add a new material. And we're gonna add a mix shader right here. And we're gonna get an emission shader and bring that all the way up here, plug it into that shader and give it a strength of three. And let's make it, let's make it a blue kind of like that. All right, now we need to mess with the factor in order to tell what these two to do. First, I'm gonna take the base color and bring it all the way down to black. So first we're gonna add a color ramp and what that color ramp is gonna do, it's gonna use these two sliders to crunch everything that's gonna be behind the color ramp. So let's plug the color into the factor and it's going to do nothing right now. So let's add a noise texture and a Voronoi texture. And the order is pretty important, so add the noise texture first and then the Voronoi. Then we got the Voronoi, plug the color into the vector. So now we're going to get these little circles. You can kind of see the circles are kind of stretched this way. What we're going to do is we're going to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate. All right, so now you can see the circles are now circular and they're not stretched out and the object coordinate fits them to evenly kind of to this area. So first thing we're gonna do is use that color ramp and crunch things. So let's take the black and do that. And now you can really see the circles starting to do their magic. So we're just gonna crunch it right around there for now. And let's take this Vor Voronoi and bring the scale down till we get a circle right here sort of zeroing out. We want to pick, say, this circle right here. So right now it's a gradient. You can see there is a gradient in the color ramp, which makes these kind of soft when you move it. So I'm going to change it from linear to constant. And then bring this black one right over here and get this white. And so now it is a hard edge when we edit it. So we're going to keep it right around there. And then let's play with the scale of this. You can play with the scale here, of course. But I want to so I'm gonna bring the scale to right about there and then mess with the scale here. And right now you can see the circle is not dead center. We're gonna center that later, but first we need to make this look like the energy pulse and not just sort of the target logo. So let's take this and make it a little bit thinner. That looks pretty good. And right here on the vector line, we're gonna add a noise texture. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make these lines really bumpy. But right now when we do it, it makes them way too bumpy. So let's bring the detail up really quickly. And let's add a mix RGB, just like that. And we're gonna put the object coordinate in color two. So what that's gonna do is if we bring the factor over here, it's just the noise, bring the factor over here, it's just those other two textures. So we're gonna bring the factor just till it starts looking like an energy pulse, just like that. And then we can play with the scale a little bit, just like that mess with that. Actually, I'm going to leave the scale, the four and I just leave that alone. And the distortion really makes it spaz out. And that's what's going to give us the effect we want. But first thing we need to do is center out this. So we're going to do that with the mapping node. So with the location, we're just going to get this circle right here to the center and we're going to bring it up just like that. It's not going to be perfect, but it's better than nothing. So now we have the circle in the center. If we were to go back to the noise texture and play with the distortion, 
you can see it's right there in the middle. Now, you can kind of get the idea of what we're going to do. We're just going to animate the distortion. And because it's so glitchy and things like that, it's not technically going to be a perfect loop, but you won't tell the difference because it's so quick and spastic. So we're going to go here to the timeline. And I'm going to give it 120 frames, just like that. Right down here on end. And I'm going to bring it up so I can actually see the timeline. And let's animate it. So right click on the distortion. I'm going to bring it one over like that. Insert keyframe. Click this arrow right here, go to the very end. And let's get the distortion and bring it over. Boom. And insert keyframe. So if we press play, it's not fast enough. It's super, super slow. So we're going to change that. Delete keyframes. Clear keyframes. Insert keyframe. Go to the end. And we'll make it 9. Insert keyframe. So now we get a better animation for this pulse glowing animation here. And then in the bloom, if it's not blooming, it looks like that. You want to click bloom on the EV settings. And right now it's too glary. I'm going to bring down the bloom a little bit. And there you go. You have your energy pulse animation. It looks really awesome. And if you don't know how to export it, go over here to the little printer icon. Choose where you're going to put the output. Change it from PNG to FFmpeg. On the encoding, change it from that to MP4 and from medium to high quality and then you go to render render animation and it'll render out for you so there you go you made a really cool pulse animation i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and thanks for watching